Hello my dear students, a very warm good day to one and all. Hope you all are safe and doing good. Learners Note is an online solution that encourages a better way of education among our students. Myself, I am Gina George, your physics teacher. Today I am going to discuss about the topic, sources of energy. I am sure that you all are familiar with the term energy. In our day to day life activities, we all need energy throughout the day. Suppose if you want to walk to your friend's house, you need energy. I need energy to take class. So from where do we get this energy? What is the source of energy? That's right. Food is the source of energy. Our body will burn the food and produces energy. So by the way, then what will be the source of energy to burn a light? And what will be the source of energy to move a car? We know that all these instances need some sort of energy. So, in a car, what is the source of energy? Yes, correct. The fuel that we are using inside the car is the source of energy like petrol, diesel, etc. Now, what is the source of energy for a steam engine? Yes, of course, it is a, it is a coal is the source of energy for steam engine. So, this food, fuels like coal, diesel, petrol are all source of energy. So, how you will compare these sources of energy? How can you say a source of energy is good or not? So let's see the characteristics of sources of energy. So as the first characteristic says that it should have a high energy output per unit mass or volume. So you all know the definition of energy. What is energy? Energy is the capacity to do work. So if a source of energy can do a lot of lot of work, then you can say it is a good source of energy. If a large amount of work is done from by a source of energy, you can say it is a good source of energy. For example, if you are burning 1 gram of coal and if it can produce a large amount of energy, then you can say it is a good source of energy. Now, other characteristics of a good source of energy is it should be available easily. It should be easily stored and it should be transported easily and it should be easily, it should be affordable. Then you can say the, uh, if all these conditions are satisfied then you can say it is a good source of energy. Now the source of energy can be classified into two different forms. That is first one is renewable source of energy and the second one is non-renewable source of energy. So from the name itself you can understand what is a renewable source of energy as the name suggests the energy sources that can be renewed are known as renewable source of energy. For example wood is a renewable source of energy that means if you cut wood then you can grow trees in the forest that doesn't mean that you can cut as per your wish because it can lead to deforestation and all. So another source of renewable source of energy are sun, wind, flowing water, ocean, wood, biomass etc. Because these energy can be reproduced from the nature itself. Then opposite of renewable source of energy is non-renewable source of energy. As the name suggests, these source of energy cannot be renewed. Because it is not easily formed in the nature. It takes millions and millions of years to form a little amount of that source of energy. Such source of energy are known as non-renewable source of energy. Example for a non-renewable source of energies are coal, petroleum, natural gas and crude oil. So next classification is conventional source of energy and non-conventional source of energy. So what is a conventional source of energy? It is a traditional form of energy and it is familiar to a lot of people because it is started to use very long back. Opposite of conventional source of energy is non-conventional source of energy. That means it's relatively it is a new form of energy and it's not familiar among the common people and all. Such source of energy is known as non-conventional source of energy. Examples of non-conventional source of energy are solar energy, sea energy, nuclear energy and geothermal energy. So one by one we'll see in detail but before that we'll understand the different types of conventional sources of energy. The first conventional source of energy that we are going to discuss today is fossil fuel. So fossil fuel is formed inside the earth and it is a natural process. 
fossil fuel is generated through a natural process. The remains of the dead animals and plants are decayed naturally and fossil fuel is formed. This fossil fuel is a non-renewable source of energy. That means it takes millions and millions of years to form a small amount of fossil fuel. Considering the rate at which that we are using fossil fuels today, the days are not too far that this fossil fuel get exhausted from this earth. So we should conserve the fossil fuel and we should use them judiciously. Examples of fossil fuels are coal, petroleum, natural gas and crude oil. The next category of conventional source of energy is thermal power plant. In thermal power plant, the heat energy is produced by burning this fossil fuel like coal, petroleum and crude oil etc. So the heat energy thus produced is used to heat the water and as a result this water will be turned in converted into steam and this steam is used to rotate the turbines of the generator and thus electricity is produced. Next we are moving on to hydropower plants. Hydropower plants, we use the energy of the flowing water. Here we will collect the water from the rivers and we will store the water inside the dam. So after some time, this water from the dam will flow down and it will rotate the turbines of the generator and electricity is produced. Now let's see the advantages of hydropower plant. First one is low cost. The cost of hydropower plant is very less when we compare with the other methods. And the second one is no carbon dioxide is produced. Here no carbon dioxide is produced because we are not burning any fossil fuels. So as a result there will be no pollution. Third one is, it is a renewable source of energy. And fourth one is, we can use this for industrial applications. So these are the advantages of hydropower plant. Low cost, no carbon dioxide is produced, as a result less pollution. Third one is, it is a renewable source of energy. Fourth one is, industrial applications. So next moving on to the next type of conventional source of energy, that is biomass energy. So the waste materials and dead parts of living organism is known as biomass. And this biomass is decomposed with the help of microorganisms and biogases produced. So what is biomass energy? Here the waste materials and dead organisms are called biomass. And this biomass is decomposed with the help of anaerobic microorganism. As a result, biogas is produced. Now the last source of conventional source of energy is wind energy. Here the kinetic energy of the wind is harnessed and produce mechanical energy as well as electrical energy. Here you can see the picture of windmill and here you can see a picture of wind energy farm. In this wind energy farm hundreds of wind turbines are used. So far we have discussed the five forms of conventional source of energy. Which are those five forms? First one is fossil fuel. Second one is hydropower plant. Third one is thermal power plant. Fourth one is biomass energy. And fifth one is wind energy. So now let's see what are the non-conventional sources of energy. The first and most familiar source of non-conventional energy is the solar energy. And solar energy is the energy obtained from the sun and it is obtained in two forms that is heat energy and light energy. In solar cooker, solar furnace and solar water heaters we use the 
heat energy and in solar cells we use the light energy so we get energy from the sun in two forms that is heat energy and light energy next form of non conventional source of energy is the energy from the sea energy from the sea is obtained using three ways first one is tidal energy second one is sea wave energy and third one is ocean thermal energy so in tidal energy energy is obtained from the tides the energy obtained from the tides is known as tidal energy and the energy obtained from the waves is known as wave energy and the ob energy obtained by the temperature difference energy obtained by the temperature difference between the warmer surface and the cooler surface of the ocean is known as ocean thermal energy next source of energy is geothermal energy the deeper regions of the earth crust is very hot and the that regions is known as hot spot so the water bodies that is connected with this hot spot will get heated and as a result steam is produced and this steam is used to run the turbines to produce electricity the last non conventional source of energy is the nuclear energy nuclear energy is obtained as a result of nuclear reaction so during nuclear reaction a large source of energy is released and there are two types of nuclear reaction first one is nuclear fission and the second one is nuclear fusion so let's summarize the key points that we have learned today we discuss what is the source of energy and we have seen the characteristics of a good source of energy then we discuss what is a renewable source of energy and non renewable source of energy renewable source of energy means the energy resources that can be renewed and non renewable source of energy means the energy resources that cannot be replaced once it is finished then another classification of source of energy is based on conventional source of energy and non conventional source of energy and we have seen various conventional source of energy and which are them first one is fossil fuel second one is hydro power plant third one is thermal power plant fourth one is biogas energy and the last one is wind energy then we have discussed about the non conventional sources of energy which are the non conventional source of energy first one is solar energy second one is geothermal energy third one is energy from the sea and fourth one is nuclear energy dear students i hope you all have understood the concept that we have discussed in this video learners not believe in the concept of learn by doing methods and we have a plenty of experiments related to the topics of your syllabus and if you want to visit please visit log on to www.learnersnote.com i am jina george your physics teacher signing off take care and have a great day